ahead to this extreme heat that we'll be seeing over the next week. We'll see a little break over the weekend, but then next week has the potential to be our first heat wave of the season, and that means DC is getting ready to activate its heat emergency. I'm joined right now by the acting director of DC Emergency Management. This is Clint Osborne. Thank you very much for coming in early in the morning. Thank you for having us. We're, 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 we're glad that you're down. here. Yes, we're glad you're here. So let's talk about this. Uh, first of all, you have an interactive map where people can go and actually find these cooling centers. Talk, talk about how that actually works. Yeah, so before the heat season even starts, when it's still cool out, we look at all of our facilities and we look at mm -hmm. ways that we can help the community stay cool. So we have 128 facilities on our roster this season. You can go to heat dc.gov and like you said you can interact with that map mm -hmm. you can find locations addresses and hours right also safety precautions you you always talk about safety precautions when it comes to these heat emergencies speak uh, speak to that yeah absolutely so there's the three things you want to think about you want to protect yourself you can do that by staying out of the heat if you can staying hydrated wearing loose fitting clothing and finding shade uh, the key is there is stay out of the heat if you can and stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. You want to check on your neighbors, especially those neighbors who are experiencing homelessness, seniors, children, because they're the most vulnerable. If you encounter somebody who needs help uh, getting to one of our cooling centers, especially those experiencing homelessness, you can call 311 mm -hmm. and there's free transportation to that. Free, and, free transportation, yes. Yep, absolutely. And then the last leg of that is, is pets. Pets shouldn't mm -hmm. be out in this heat. So if you see a pet out in this heat, you can contact the Humane Rescue Alliance. Right. And you talked about being out in heat and the problems that could cause. Uh, heat stroke is a big issue and people are out, they're doing their thing. They might not realize what's happening. Uh, what are some of the warning signs that people need to be aware of when it comes to that? Yeah, absolutely. Heat injuries are very dangerous. Heat's one of the number one killers. Um, it's one of the number one uh, mm -hmm. killers during emergencies. So shortness of breath, uh, cramping, obviously excessive sweating. When you stop sweating after you've been sweating a lot, that's when we get really concerned. Nausea and vomiting. So if you see someone experiencing those symptoms or you start to experience those themselves yourselves, you can call 911. All right, and real quick, back to the, the, the cooling locations. On the site, you can put in your your information and it'll tell you you can come and get picked up or there's transportation. Yeah, you can call 311 mm -hmm. and that's free accessible transportation that's mm -hmm. primarily for our residents who are experiencing homelessness. Right. But we have, uh, the nice thing is, is we have uh, heat centers in all eight, or cooling centers in all eight wards and many of them are within walking distance. Gotcha, okay, all right, thank you very much. We're gonna put this information on our website, WSA9.com as well. Thank you for coming in and sharing that very important information with us. All right, this potential heat wave next week has the potential for another WSA 9 weather impact alert. Right now on our website, we have the updated forecast. If you don't have our app already, just point your phone's camera at the QR code or go to the App Store and search WUSA 9.